Honey Bear giveaway, we will do our first giveaway. Hello! It, it like splits my hair when I film. Oh my gosh! Split again. I'm hungry! I just got a haircut. Can you do it in one take? Ready? One, two, three. Hello, my ha- Oh, I forgot we stood together. One, two, three. Hello, Hello my, my honey bees. bees. It's your girl, honey. It's your boy, Terry. And today, we're gonna be eating... Terry's spicy noodles. <laughs> Terry's bacon carbonara fire noodles. I cannot remember that. Hello, Hello my, my honey, honey bees. bees. It's your girl, honey. It's your boy, Terry. And today, we're gonna be eating... Terry's bacon fire noodles. <laughs> So, <laughs> Terry's bacon spicy. Three. Hello, Hello, my honey bees. bees. It's your girl, honey. It's your boy, Terry. And today we're gonna be eating Terry's bacon carbonara fire noodles. So let's dig in because we're so hungry. hungry. Hello, chef. What are we doing today? Today we're making carbonara spicy fire noodles. These are your favorite? Yes. So I like to use onions, green onions, some bacon or chicken, and then some milk. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Why are you using the small knife? Because I'm a small person. This is for fruits. Onions or fruits. They won't scare me. They scare you? Is are you in the house? <laughs> are you time to eat? Who is here? We have a sous chef? Are you a sous chef, buddy? <laughs> Oh, my kids licking me. They think I'm food. <gasps> She's sad. Good. What is it? It's uh, olive oil, extra virgin. Avocado? Oh, it's not. Okay. It's uh, avocado oil. <laughs> Why is there a green onion in there? I like a little green. Next, you want to put some bacon in there. Does it matter if it's thick or thin? Uh, doesn't really matter. That would just depend on how long you cook it. Personal preference. I prefer thin. Um, I like a good balance between the noodles and all the toppings in here. Next, we're gonna put the noodles in there. You wanna fry it a little bit. How many noodles are you cooking today? We're doing five today. Wow, how many are you gonna eat? Yeah, I'll eat like a little bit over two. Yeah? Yeah, I can't, I can't compete with him though. <laughs> Your chopstick skills got a lot better than before. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What's next, chef? So now you want to make sure the noodle gets cooked too. There's a lot of noodles. Yeah, is this enough bacon and onions? Oh, I think it's enough. Should I um cut the noodles a little bit? No. Okay. Cut it. You gotta slurp it, come on. Now, you wanna fill it up with milk. Three cups. But don't worry, it's not soupy. It's all gonna get evaporated. But this helps um, get the powder really soaked into the noodles. You know, um, the noodles tend to, how do you say? 
soak up the water. Gotta lower the heat a little bit. Okay, today I'm drinking the lemon sparkling water. I'm drinking the golden oolong tea. Cheers! Cheers! My stomach is growling. Ready? Cheers! Cheers! First by honey bite. First bite. Terry bite. Still super hot. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Wow. Mmm. So usually. I can eat things right off the pot and eat anything that's really hot, but Terry, he has a little bit of a hard time eating temperature hot food. This is so good. I feel like the milk kind of tones down the spice. I usually cook a lot and eat at home. Um, so, you know, when we go to restaurants and stuff, they have carbonara. Mm -hmm. And I saw that they use a lot of cream, so I replaced it with milk. And yeah, I just tried it and it tasted really good. I think it tastes a lot better than the regular carbonara fire noodles. So we cooked five today. We were gonna film yesterday and then Terry said he could eat three yesterday. So I was like, hmm, should we cook six today then? But then today came and he's like, hmm, I think I can only eat two. Do you think you can eat more than two? Yeah. A lot of you guys were super nice to Terry and I actually woke up yesterday and I read all the comments. I cried a little bit because how nice you guys were. Terry doesn't know this but I woke up and then immediately I opened my phone and I read all of your comments and I just like had tears in my eyes and I was just very thankful for what a great community we have. And Terry... Terry kept checking how many views and checking some of the comments too, right? Yeah. How was it looking at yourself on my channel and like watching the video? It was definitely something new and you know, the, the bigger the screen, the more shy I get. <laughs> it wasn't... I've never heard my own voice like that for 20 minutes. It was, it was very new. Was your voice how you imagined it to be or how you hear it every day? No way. Do you like it or? No. <laughs> Why not? This is what you hear every day? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But he was like, why is my voice so deep? Mm -hmm. I think sometimes it's deep and sometimes it's not. Yeah. Your voice. I guess it depends on the day, on the mood. Yeah, I remember when I first started filming and the, I heard my voice, I was like, that's my voice, it sounds so annoying. But luckily, 1.7 million of you guys are okay to listen to my voice and have been listening to it for a few years now for some of you guys. One of the comments I read was like, Hey, Terry should be named Honey Bear. You guys are honeybees and then he could be Honey Bear. She already calls me Bear most of the time because <laughs> I just like lay and watch TV and I guess I act like a bear. He looks like one, doesn't he? Oh, he's like really brown. Yeah, and he's like, dark. you know, round. And there's this emoticon he uses on our chat. And it looks exactly like him. And it acts exactly like him. Yeah, so I decided to accept that 
I am now officially a Hyunny bear. I found this in uh, Hyunny's room, her filming room, and it kind of looks like me. I guess this is officially me. Let's set him next to us. I don't know if he will stand. What are your favorite fire noodles, Hyunny bees? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, you have your ring on today. Oh, so I didn't have to cook today, so I didn't forget my ring. I think we're halfway done. After reading some of the comments, his confidence was super boosted. And then I sent him this one comment that said, Honey, he is so gorgeous. He definitely has swag for sure. I'm gorgeous? <laughs> he was like, I'm gorgeous? <laughs> I love YouTube. They asked if you speak fluent Korean. I honestly think I don't speak fluent anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of like right in the middle. Um, but I grew up speaking both equally. So I think, yes. So you said you came to America when you were one? Seven. So did you ever feel like ostracized or you couldn't belong to like a certain group or? In the beginning, yeah, for sure. Because my parents moved here without any preparation or notice. We just like, hey, you know, there's an IMF. We gotta move to America because we can't survive here kind of thing. But in the long run, it was easier to kind of get to fit into both sides just because, you know, cu culturally it was changing and I was adapting a lot to, um, you know, both communities. How did you learn English fast. Were you in ESL and if you were, how long were you in it for? I mean, I'm still learning English <laughs> every day. Honey would use a word and I'll be like, huh? <laughs> but I was in ESL until I was in eighth grade. So like really Oh, late. wait, no, that's, you got out really fast. No, I would say it was like, mm, Six, seven years since mm -hmm. I moved here. Because I was in ESL since I was in elementary. But you got out in oh, eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade, eighth Oh, I grade. thought you said when you were eight. Sorry, I'm, I'm zoning out. So if you guys don't know what ESL is, it's like English is second language and they have a separate program. So when other kids go to English class, I go to ESL class. Or sometimes other, other schools, sometimes they have like separate period of time. So like twice a month, I would have to go to um, ESL class after school or after school mm -hmm, or during nutrition which sucks because you know, all your friends are that playing. That was in middle school? Mm -hmm. But how I learned English was I used to my parents used to make me watch Disney Channel mm -hmm. I mean you know for kids it's actually good because you have no idea what they're saying in the beginning and you just kind of adapt like to the cultural slang because you know not really direct as you read from the books. So but I was in ESL too and I got out in six months. But six months? I heard when you're younger and you learn a different language, you learn faster, right? And then I used to sing along to Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys. And also, um, for you, that's, that's good that you had Disney Channel and stuff. I was living in Taiwan, so all the local TV stations, they were all in Chinese. Oh, man. And like the only ones that were in English were like English American movies for adults or like just kind of like boring for kids, you know? Yeah. But I used to watch TV in Chinese. <clears throat> <laughs> That's cool that you did it through music. Mm-hmm. Did you have a tutor or anything? Tutor? English tutor? Uh... Yeah, you know like Korean parents, they always make you go to after schools. You know, it's so different from, I would say, other cultures. Where like, after school means 
you just go to different programs at school, but it, you know, a lot of Korean Americans, they like a minivan picks you up along with other kids, and then you go to a separate uh, after school, and yeah, you you get home at like eight. It's like endless education. When you were in elementary school. Mm -hmm. went, really? Yeah, I went. I think I went from third grade to twelfth grade. I went all eight years. So night time. Mm hmm. I get home like eight. Wow. That's one thing my dad didn't want for us. That's why we left Korea. Well, one of the reasons why we left Korea, because he didn't want us to, you know, just study all day. You know, he wanted us to have more liberal time and live kind of like American kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It, my mom used to always say like, this is nothing compared to the kids in Korea when I used to complain. Yeah. I'd be like, mom, it's 8 o'clock. Can I have my free time? And she'd be like, you know, the kids in Korea are still in after school until 11 o'clock. I'm just like, okay. Yeah, I can't <laughs> imagine living in Korea as a kid. Yeah. I don't think I could ever do it. So I'm very blessed. <laughs> I feel like I ate everything. You need to eat more. I'll save that for you. Let's share. You getting full? No, no. Couldn't really be a kid um, as much as I wanted to be. I think that's why I used to like, um, you know, secretly play games at mm -hmm. night. That's one thing I actually wanted to ask some of my honeybees. Like, what do you think kids should do when they're young? Should you send them to after school and have them study? Because I know in Korea now, even if you're like three, four years old, they learn a different language. But I think kids should be kids and, you know, not all Americans here go to after schools and they still thrive. I just think it really depends on the environment you're in. So what do you guys think? Do you think kids should just study, study, study or study and play and have their freedom? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you going to do for our kids if we do have kids later? I think if we had a mini honey, I want the mini honey to be a mini honey. What does that mean? Whatever the kid wants to do, I would fully support it. I wouldn't pressure into studying too much. You miss uh, being the age you are if you force them to do something they don't want to do. I moved around a lot, so I don't really have childhood friends. But Terry, he has a lot of childhood friends because you basically stayed in one city, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't have a lot of friends, period. But... Terry still has a lot of friends, right? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so this is like a dilemma for our wedding too. Like, I want a small wedding, but Terry wants a big one because he has so many friends. Honestly, it's all up to what Hyunyu wants. That's the wedding I want. <laughs> Are you trying to impress the Hyunyu beast? No. <laughs> I told you, we'll do what you want. <laughs> Someone asked, do you watch your fiance's YouTube videos? I do. Um, it's like, the thing about Hyunny is she doesn't, every time she meets my friends or, I mean my friends already know, but anyone new, she wouldn't be like, hi, I'm an influencer. Or, hi, I'm Hyunny from YouTube. I do mukbang for a living. She would just be like, hi, um... You know, she doesn't talk about who she is. And I'm the one right next to her, but like, she's an influencer. Do you know she has uh, over a million on YouTube? <laughs> and then they'll be like, what? But for me, I'm just like, that's a really good conversation starter, like, you know? Sometimes I don't want people to think or look at me differently because I have this many subscribers or 
because I'm this person, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just want him to greet me or get to know me on a personal level. Not as, oh my gosh, she's Hyunny Eats, you know? Yeah. And that also actually motivates me to work harder if they don't know who I am. <laughs> she's a humble bee. <laughs> Oh yeah, but to answer the question, I do, and I, wherever I am, I'm really proud of her. So I would always uh, encourage them to check her out, follow her, subscribe her, just see like, you know, for a lot of people, like even for myself, it was very new. And it's, you know, it's really good. It's really great to see someone provide this kind of channel uh, for people to enjoy and to help them eat. You know, whatever they're going through I think I didn't know all the meaning behind the show before she showed it to me so I actually didn't know when I first started that it was gonna help people gain their appetite for people who have cancer or who are going through depression and all that and once I learned that I was like oh my gosh you know I'm actually helping people I'm not just here to entertain you know so yeah it has more meaning to it than just food and eating a large amount of food. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, should I do it or not? Huh? <laughs> Why? Because you're shy or... I'm not a really PDA person. <laughs> <clears throat> you know like how people, a lot of people here... Um, Where's here? In the U.S. Mm -hmm. My home. <laughs> oh. um, they greet you with a hug or like, you know, like a cheek, like kiss, like like kind of thing. And the, it was really hard for me to adjust just because even right now it's a little uncomfortable. When we say bye, unless like they're really close to me, I give them a hug. Even if it's, uh -oh. even if it's a girl or a guy, like, a handshake is cool, you know? But to a girl, it's like, is that rude to do a handshake? Like, they're here like, Bye, Terry! I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, I've witnessed a lot of that before. Yeah. <clears throat> but even now, for me, it's awkward. Do I pound it? Do I shake it? Do I hug them? It's, it's always confusing to I, figure out which one to do, right? I know, the hardest thing is like, when they... When they do this, and then you just go like... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do our last bite. Already? Yeah. I ate it all. That's yours. I'm not done. Yeah, after you eat that. Why don't you tell them what you want to do? Hmm? What do I want to do? For the honeybees. Hmm. That's what I wanted you to discuss when you brought out the honey bear. This was his idea too, director. Terry? Is that director or producer? Producer, right? Mm. Mm. PD? Mm. PDA? I'm assistant. You want to know one comment someone said? What? That's not like, that's like, not nice, but it was like, who you look like. No, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? <laughs> what is it? You wanna know? Yeah? Someone said, you look like Pang PD. Pang PD? Who's that? BTS is um, the group owner. <laughs> you know him? Wait, I do look like him a little bit. <laughs> Wait, I felt like you look more like him on camera. Wow. I was like... No, so now that you say it... Someone said I didn't know that, his name was Pang PD. And I was like, who's that? Wait, I was like, no way they're talking about this guy. And I looked him up and I was like, oh my god, they're talking about Pang PD. <laughs> Where's my BTS army at? <laughs> okay, I'm engaged to a BTS owner. You guys need tickets? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so tell them what do you want to do. So Pang PD wants to to come out as a honey bear and do a giveaway for um, all the honeybees out there 
just randomly, you'll see me in a honey bear suit or something like that. Something, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, if we can find a honey bear suit. You'll see me dressed up as a honey bear and... Whenever you're dressed like that, it'll be a giveaway time. Yes. So I tend to make everything longer. <laughs> she has I to know, like cut it. You know some people are like, oh my god, that was so mean. How you like cut him when he was like introducing himself. But you know, the reason why I did cut it was because I thought he could tell you guys in like each separate video. Instead of him going on and on and on and not eating and talking. So that's why. But I, you know, I've. No, some of you guys found it funny. I thought it was funny. You thought it was funny, was funny. right? <laughs> How I edited it. But that video was actually over an hour long. And I had to cut it to, you know, 20, 30 minutes. And it had like 300 different edits. So that's one of the reasons why it took so long. And um, I'm glad a lot of you guys liked it. But if you guys get it to 5,000 likes, we will do a fire noodle challenge ASAP as soon as it reaches 5,000, right? I'm gonna like it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, also, you know, when he thought about the honey bear thing, he was like practicing how to say it. It's honey bear. <laughs> Hello, my honey bears. Hello, it's your honey, honey bear. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. No, why? <laughs> it's gonna be our last. Bye! Last bye! If you guys can't eat spicy like me, this is the perfect amount of spice for me. <laughs> for us, for all of us. <laughs> Excluding me? Yeah. All of us. <laughs> it's still a little bit spicy, but I think it's it's really like tolerable. It's good. Thank you so much for this delicious meal. If you guys ever try this uh, recipe, please let us know if you guys like it, if it's the perfect amount of spice for you. Before we end the video, do you wanna... Do you wanna... Yeah, so to start off <clears throat> the honey, honey bear giveaway... You should talk like honey bear. To start off the honey bear giveaway, we will do our first giveaway. Yay! Yay! I used to give Hani a lot of um, dolls. She's like Zeno. I mean, Zeno's like her too. Like they love dolls, right? But I sleep with this one. I have the same one. We have like four squishmallows that are these big, but um, yeah, like she really likes this. It's a, it's a panda drinking a boba. He said it looks like me. So we na she named it. Uh, what did you name her? Bobby. Hey? Bobby. Bobby. So we'll be giving away one honey bee, a honey Bobby. So what do they have to do to be one of the lucky winners? Just hashtag honey bear on the comments down below and we'll do like a randomizer. Like this video. Or oh, like this video. Subscribe. Subscribe. And hashtag honey bear. Honey bear. And he will pick one lucky winner. Yeah. Woo! All right. So we are. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see him again in the next one, please like this video. Uh, make sure you guys ask for Terry B. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!